Hydro accounts for about 13% of our generating capacity in Europe. Our 108 hydro plants in Germany meet the energy needs of 1.6 million households and each year prevent the emission of 2.8 million metric tonnes of carbon, based on the country's current energy mix. Our 69 hydro plants in Sweden help it have one of the smallest carbon footprints of an industrial country. Can you describe the role of hydropower in the energy system and also what Uniper does exactly? The whole uh, Uniper generation portfolio has the task to enable the transition of the energy system. While the hydropower business in Sweden is already the backbone of the energy supply in the nation since many decades, in Germany we have a minor role but still an important one as we have the infeed in the lower voltage level where also wind and solar are producing volatile and less predictable energy. Hydro power seems to be an established and mature technology that was developed ages ago. Is its potential already fully exploited? If not, what is needed in terms of modernization and maintenance? Of course we have potentials in rehabilitation and upgrading our assets, but this is very costly and we have to look at the profitability of these assets. So what we are aiming for is a change in the remuneration system, which really addresses our products and our contribution for the supply system. And once this is done, we have some more potential in our existing assets. Hydro is not so often present in the media besides maybe the local press. Is it widely politically and socially accepted? Or are there any controversial effects or impacts? We are widely accepted on a general level, but I fear as every infrastructure um, project, when it comes to actual projects, the resistance in the local population is huge. So we have to work on this on our daily basis to invest in this infrastructure, not only in power generation, but also in flood protection, in touristic infrastructure. And that's what we mainly do in the upcoming years to keep the acceptance on the local level very high. Nowadays, when discussing the energy transition, everybody talks about wind and solar energy. But what about water? How does hydropower contribute to climate protection? Wind and solar are more popular, in particular in the media, but hydropower is the most mature and the oldest renewable energy. And we are proud to have it in our portfolio. Um, and of course, it's contributing to the trans transition of the energy system in Germany called Energiewende. We are contributing with emission-free energy production. We are contributing with flexibility, and that's how we try to make the German Energiewende happen. What makes this job special for you? Uh, for me as an engineer, it's a perfect combination of technical challenges, interaction with society and interaction with politics. And it's a big challenge for me and it makes me really happy to bring this old technology into new times in a new energy system.